Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up your WordPress website. So this is uh, the admin page, the admin section uh, of the, uh, the WordPress website. So um, again, from the other videos, you will remember that this is my website and it's uh i have just started this basically this website it's still in uh, under construction in draft uh, state and if i go back here you will remember that if i append this wp admin then i'm basically taken to this wordpress um, administration and configuration and development side of things right so here uh, you will remember that we just click on customize and then this takes us to um, the menus and the options and the features so that we can um, customize our website so we do a lot of things and some of these things actually about this you know the website they are stored in files and some other aspects of this website are stored in a database. So how do I back up my work so that I know that I will not permanently lose it uh, if things go wrong? So it's always good practice basically to take a backup of your uh, WordPress site uh, on regular basis. So I would say if you're constantly working on it, if you're making a lot of changes daily just make a backup daily or if you're just making changes moderately then at least uh, make um, a weekly backup of your work and once you finalize your work and not a lot is changing on the configuration side you're still creating posts right so especially if it's like a blog kind of web page um then you would be creating new blogs uh new posts in your blog so you don't want to lose them either especially if you add media and if you add you know images or you write some really nice text you definitely don't want to lose them so um, a weekly backup is always a good idea so how do we do it so again this is the admin uh, site of WordPress now we have to log in somewhere else and that's called the cPanel so you will use cPanel actually for lots and lots of different purposes okay so usually uh, this might be different in your um, setup but if I if I append this semicolon and 2083 port number to my website all this it will take me to this login page. It's going to print cPanel, and this is exactly the interface that I want to show you. This interface is rich in features. It has lots and lots of options, as you can see here. I mean, it's, uh, it's huge what you can do here. This is pretty much everything about your domain management. Okay, so you can see the domains, uh, the databases, even billing and support, your files, pretty much everything is here, right? So your C names, if you're familiar with that, your email configurations and setup, um, you know, your um, SSL certificates and a lot of things really. But let's focus on the backup tasks, right? So if I quickly type WordPress, you see, it brings up this WordPress manager by Softaculous. I click on this. This is my WordPress, um, let's say, instance manager, so to say. So it will immediately um, pull up the installations, the existing installations on my domain. Okay. Um, so it brings up the URL to my web page. And then this is the unique identifier, like the username uh, for this website. 
here you get a sweet option actually it's nice it's change password so you can um, you can quickly change your password to your website's wordpress installation but if i click here then it opens up um, many other options here right they're they're interesting actually to check for example the version number so 5.6 and it says it's up to date. So this is checking actually against uh, WordPress releases. So it's telling me that I'm up to date with my WordPress installation. But again, I mean, if you're building a website that's absolutely mission critical and uh, you don't want to update it um, automatically, right? Because you're, you're using code um, you're adding code that's really version specific or you're testing it against one particular and specific version that's where you might want to not auto upgrade your WordPress installation right so here it is auto upgrade WordPress core core it means the the true like the installation of WordPress the WordPress itself and not uh, the additional items like plugins and themes these are additional options here. This is really uh, the WordPress. So if you say do not auto upgrade, it will basically stay at this version number um, until you uh, manually um, go in and upgrade your uh, installation to the latest version, right? So um, since my web page is, my website is, is very simple. It's not using any custom development that uh, like an upgrade might break that's why I choose this one upgrade to the latest version uh, you know it's either major or minor but always keep me up to date again uh, you get similar options here auto upgrade WordPress plugins or WordPress themes so this is really um, up to each web designer basically to decide it's really case by case. Um, I, for example, uh, don't like my themes to be upgraded uh, automatically because I choose a theme and I start building on it. So I don't know what uh, an upgrade would bring if it's, say, like a major or radical upgrade to the theme and if my website will look different because it was auto-updated, then that's something that I don't want. Right, so I, I click here, I choose disabled. So I don't want to, uh, I don't want to upgrade my themes automatically. However, I want my plugins to be up to date. Um, remember the, the plugins that we've seen together in the other videos, such as bringing up the Instagram feed or adding uh, a YouTube video or a channel or a playlist. So those plugins are always good to keep you know, up to date. Um, again, now, all the way down here, you will see that you have a backup um, button here, right? So this is exactly how we're going to back up um, my WordPress website. Right, I click on backup, right, it says backing up WordPress, perfect. So um, you may just drop a note here, say, for example, uh, backup or so this will be default i i truly you know suggest that you leave this default i'll show you where it backs up afterwards anyway um and then it's just simple as that the, the rest is actually just information it's not something that you can change so again backup database is super important uh as i said because the, the first one is backing up the files, right? So, um, however, this one, this is backing up the files and this one is backing up the database. So as I explained, some aspects of your website are stored in files and some others in uh, your database. So backing up only one would not back up your entire work. So please, um, Please be careful with this. So if you're uh, if you're not like um, if you're if you're not intending to back up only one element, 
uh, if you're a beginner or if you're you know if you have just moderate knowledge then just back up everything if you choose these two it's going to back up your entire work don't change this unless you you really intend to right unless you really know why you're choosing only one and not the other okay so if i click backup inst uh, installation Right, it's now backing up. Everything is good, so it was created successfully. You can access it from the backups page. Right, so let's click here. Let's see what is what is this backups page. So this backups page is basically just listing all the backups that I have taken of my WordPress uh, website. Right, so it, it's going to list um, the, um, the URL of my website because you may have more than one WordPress installation and you can manage uh, via this interface. Then this is the file name. So this was automatically generated and this is the WordPress version and this is the total size of this backup, right? So this from the file uh, type, you can see that this is a um, this is a compressed file. Uh, here, what you can do is, you know, you have some options, download your backup, restore this backup, or remove the backup. So remove the backup will delete this file from the location that it was, it was created, right? Again, so let me show you um, where this file is, okay? So this is uh, an FTP utility right so i have logged in to my website via ftp okay so this is showing the content all the files um in uh in the location in the folder where my wordpress installation resides so now what happens uh, here is this is this is the content of my WordPress, right? So I need to navigate one step back and Then you will see here it is I have a backups Folder that was created this one So I really suspect that my backup file is here inside this folder oops Yeah, so um, Again, one more time. Let me open this. There it is. So let's let's check together. So this file here is this file, right? So this is the folder basically that it's going to store all your uh, WordPress backup files. So wh whenever you log into your FTP, you will be taken here, public HTML. So you go one step back and then here it will be uh, the backups folder and you can see your backup file here. So basically what happens is you, you backed up uh, your WordPress, but what happens if you would like to save this really onto your computer as well and you want to take this to... Uh, onto an external drive. So this is FTP, so it's super easy, right? I can just right click and I say download and it's going to download this onto my computer. Um, you can pretty much do the same thing here. You can just click on this arrow and then it's going to download the file as you can see here onto your computer. So if you absolutely want to have a local copy of your backup, then I truly suggest that you download this file and then either, you know, keep it on your computer or on, um, on the cloud or uh, on an external drive um, because this one is still sitting on your, um, let's say, domain provider, right? This is uh, sitting on the, um, on the server, on the same server as your WordPress. Now, um, again, you have the option to restore it from here, but I would say that probably the best is, or more visual, 
is again to navigate to WordPress Manager and then again click on this little arrow here and then hit restore. See, you can restore a backup of your installation to roll back changes. So say that something has gone wrong and then it takes you here and then you can restore this copy. So um, yeah, just wrapping up, um, remember to, uh, to back up your work, um, I mean, systematically, frequently, so that you know that you don't lose anything. However, what I would really suggest is you see like there's a note every time you're backing up because if, if you back up weekly, you will remember, um, you, you will forget actually, you will forget all the changes that you made during that week. So you will end up having just these uh, strange file names, like a huge list here, but you won't really remember what each one of them really includes as of content. Right, so uh, so then these notes are of extreme importance. So you need to write a text that will really um, help you to understand or remember the very very specific changes that you made um, between this one and the previous one. So why would I want to restore this one and not another file? Because this one includes A B C but does not include, uh, I don't know, um, the plugins or whatever other content, right? So these notes are really, really important. All right, so uh, I hope this video has been useful to you. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section. And if you can give it a like, uh, it would be of great support. Thank you very much. See you in another video.